What's up everybody, how's it going? So we're here at Tom's house. That's Tom. <laughs> Tom was the lucky guy that picked me when I didn't know anything at all. <laughs> and so uh, we're back on his site. The house is a little over 13 years old and we're here upgrading his system um, from what we originally put in. Um, it worked well. It was We had very little issues. We had a, an inverter upgrade along the way. We did add a secondary battery charger because he just had so much battery storage. It was all about, you know, keeping the system, you know, topped off. And the AGMs really for somebody like Tom, uh, who moved out here off the grid, knew nothing about it. Uh, I knew nothing about it at that time. Um, we really were, we feel pretty, we feel pretty good. It lasted quite a long time. What do you think? 13 and a half years. Pretty, pretty good run for the, for not knowing nothing, but we're going to show you some of the stuff we did and some of the stuff I agree, we're going to make way better, but, uh, that's going to be one of the fun parts about this project is we're going to upgrade it and make it to the to the new standards of West Coast, not the not the beginning. Actually, if you've known me for a long time, when I did all this originally, when I was starting this, I called myself JTEC or JTEC Solar. And so now we're we're kind of, we've evolved and now we're West Coast Sustainable, so. His, his home office was Barnes & Noble. Yes, that's, that's <laughs> where we met for the first time, so. Let's take a look at what we got and we'll talk about what we're gonna do. Okay, so what we have here is we have 3,000 amp hours of AGMs. Those are the XI, G, and Bs. Um, they've lasted really well. As you can see, there's a few dead cells that we had to jump. So Tom and a friend um, bypassed them with this kind of roll set up. Um, this was temporary while we got, kind of got everything ordered and figured out what we wanted to do. Um, originally when we put the system in, this was a Xantrix XW Plus. Um, so it took two inverters that were in there. I'll post the picture of what it used to look like. But what happened was we lost one inverter. And I think what happened was um, when we built this, it had a 120 volt well pump. And I think that the pump just always being on that leg kind of made that inverter mad. Um, so we lost an inverter, so we upgraded the Outback Radian. This, that Radian, um, it is number, what is it? 425. So we've had the Radians in since they were fairly new and kind of helped them work the bugs out of that. Um, so the goal is gonna be to pull all this stuff off here, put new plywood on, um, reconfigure the plywood so we can stack it. We're gonna have a uh, setup for one Radian now, a future Radian, the Flexor 1000, and then the Discover battery. So uh, I posted some pictures before of kind of what the Google SketchUp layout was. Um, it should be a pretty easy upgrade. The hardest thing is just gonna be keeping power. Um, but as far as the electrical infrastructure that we have, we really just, we can do anything we need to. And that, that's what's kind of one of the cool things is this being my first system. Um, I'm glad that I built so much flexibility into it because there's still a ton of pipes up in the attic. This is all super accessible and we have a drop down ladder over here. So we're going to be able to go up in here and, and I've changed some of this of what I do now versus what I used to do. We're going to leave the remaining two inch conduit that's up here that's dropping down for the solar feed, but the PV feed that feeds up and over and drops down for the charge controllers, I'm going to change that and we're gonna gutter all the way across the bottom with a 90 degree elbow. And so all we're gonna have to do is just really chase nipple uh, between these two. And we're gonna be able to decrease the distance quite a bit from the, um, from the charge controllers to the GSLC and really shrink down our cable distance, which I think that's a worthy thing. So uh, we're gonna add a GSLC, all the gutter, the Discover batteries, the Schneider Com box, and clean this beast up and make it Kind of sexy and we're going to relocate the mate controller into where the pantry is where we had the controller for the old xw so this should be pretty clean and uh, we're just starting day one of taking everything apart and coming up with our game plan so uh, we'll show you some more as we get going and i know this was the uh, battery charger we had this in there at one point in time the uh the radian wasn't quite enough for the charging for that much amp hours of storage so we did add this um select to charge 100 amp charger um, I don't see a manufacturer who made it. Um, I'll have to try to look this up. Uh, the model number is a SCX48100, and this unit helped out quite a bit. The other benefit to running a charger like this is if you just want to charge your batteries um, and you don't want to do the pass-through, this really will give you a super clean um, filtered charge so that the generator's not passing through the house and clean up the power factor a lot. So. Yeah, again, that's kind of the, the gist of what we got going on. Uh, let's get let's get to it.